This is the model E5 Blaster. This was originally made by Hasbro uh, around 1999, uh, and it was the primary weapon of the B1 Battle Droid. This one has a 36 watt hour lithium ion battery in the back section here. Uh, this is the safety switch, uh, aiming beam disable switch, and the key lock. Uh, and up here there's a focusing adjustment that you can uh, turn to change the focus distance. The laser diode is a 9mm Nietzsche NDB7A75. Uh, the power output was measured at a, almost 5.5 watts. It was like 5.46 watts using a G2 lens. So it's pretty good power output and it's fairly efficient. There's two separate driver circuits. One uh, is a low-powered uh, analog driver for the aiming beam. It gives a power output of about 80 milliwatts. And for the high power, there's a uh, X-drive switching mode power supply uh, running at about 3.5 amps output. Uh, to operate the blaster, first thing, make sure you have your safety glasses. Okay, here's my glasses here. These are specially designed to block the uh, wavelength of this laser. We'll put them on. Next, the key switch here needs to be turned on before anything, any power can go to the circuit. So we'll put the key in and turn it like that. Now that's in the on position. Uh, down it's like a little red dot. Well, that means that it's off. And then to enable it, we'll turn on the safety switch. So now, uh, if we turn, uh, squeeze the trigger a little bit, we'll get the uh, aiming beam will come on. And when the aiming beam is on, we can focus it. So you adjust the focus to get the smallest spot. So if you turn it one way, if it's getting bigger, you want to turn it the other way. And the idea is to focus it to the smallest possible spot. That will give you the, the most energy. Then if you squeeze the trigger a little bit more, um, it will activate the main beam. Activate the trigger slightly, the aiming beam comes on and you'll see a spot. And you can adjust the focus until it's the smallest possible spot. That will give you the most power. That's the aiming beam. So now if we pull the trigger a little bit more, then you'll get full power. piece of two by four. Okay, let's try burning some data on a blank DVD. Is that a 1 or a 0? I think we're supposed to use Blu-ray discs.
Let's try it out on this plastic cup here. You can see the beam. And it makes a hole through there pretty fast. <laughs> 